Hi, I'm Mr. Frog. For a while now, I've been heavily interested in the Ultimate Iron Man game mode. With this in mind, I wanted to set myself a new challenge. Using standard UIM rules, I want to acquire one of the coolest pets in the game, the Omelette. But there's a catch. In addition to these rules, I will also not be allowed to leave the island of Zaya. This means I will have to obtain all of my gear, stats, and supplies in the local areas. Can it be done? Welcome to Overzealous. Hey guys, and welcome back to episode 33. As you guys would have seen in the previous video, we have started our hand at Sarachnis. For the past week or so, I've been grinding this boss, desperately attempting to get a cudgel drop. Once we finally achieve this, we will only have two things left to unlock before attempting raids. We are coming increasingly close to reaching the end goal of this series, but don't let that fool you. There is a good chance that I will be stuck at raids for a very long time before I can actually finish this. Regardless, with all this time spent at Seracnus, as you can see in the background here, the hunt for the cudgel is taking some time. To put in perspective, I can achieve approximately 30 kills per day at Seracnus, which makes this hunt feel incredibly slow. To make the journey a little bit more fun, I've been streaming this every single day over on Twitch. Make sure you check out the channel and hit the follow button to keep me company, I'd really appreciate it. By joining the stream, you can be part of the community who gets to see the reactions live. Nonetheless, the grind at Seracnus isn't all too awful. Even without the desired drop, Seracnus is incredibly useful to this account. As you can see in the inventory at times, I have been stacking up on Mithril Ore, Emeralds and Cosmic Runes, alongside some crafting supplies for later. The reason that I'm collecting these is that once I'm done with Seracnus, I'll be able to make Mithril Bolts, attach Emerald Tips, and then enchant them to make Emerald Bolts E. Not only will these bolts be useful for obtaining the Runite Limbs for the crossbow later, but also amazing to speed up the crafting grind, where I will be needing to kill approximately 22,000 Red Dragons. Anyway, that's my ramble for the video, let's proceed on to the fun parts of the Seracnus grind. Warm seeds. Okay. It's... I'm gonna have to sort something out here because. Okay, so we just got ourselves free qualm seeds as a drop, and the issue I'm having with this is that my seed box is full. So I'm gonna to have to get rid of something from the seed box, and I've decided I'm gonna get rid of the toe flax seeds as I actually cannot really do anything with toe flax until I can make. I think it's like one of the poisons or something like that, and it's just a really inconvenient herb to use. So goodbye toe flax seeds. On we go. This has got to be a joke. Where were you when I needed you? Literally, this is like moments after the previous clip, and I went to grow some herbs so that I could start working towards my qualm seeds. And we get a Hesporic seed. Where were you, like, two weeks ago when I desperately needed you? So in light of the recent occurrence of getting a Hespori seed, I've decided that I'm actually going to go and kill Hespori for the first time on this account, seeing as I can plant it again, and I'm not going to be needing the death storage for the next couple of days anyway, so I'm not worried about the time it takes to regrow. Some of the items that we're going to need for Hespori, one of the main ones, is the Super Anti-Poison, so I'm heading over to the Temple Spiders in the hopes that I can get myself a 2-dose, which should suffice for the fight. I will be using sharks as food, which I have here, and I'm going to attempt to cook them on a Hysidious range, and then we'll be heading over to Hespori with our Super Set, our Prayer Potion, our Sharks, and our Super Anti-Poison to kill Hespori. Uh, there we have the Super Anti-Poison. We also got ourselves a Ranar Seed while killing these, which was lucky or unlucky, depending on how you look at it. I just dropped my Eyes of Newt for now so that I can carry the Anti-Poison. I'll go buy some more from Arceus later on, as they only cost a few coins anyway. Okay, we're at the Farming Guild. Time to take on Hespori.
there we go. Aspori has been defeated. That was actually a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. But anyway, we did manage to get the kill. Let's uh, harvest this. I need a spade for this. But we can harvest this and get a chunk of farming XP, which is going to be really nice. And we'll plant the new one and get it growing. Okay? We're calling it. If I get a bottomless bucket, you've got a spam spoon. Pog! No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so now that that's over, we can get back to doing Serenus. So, just for a bit of fun, I thought I'd include my collection of these. Drachen buns. Ooh, groovy key. <sighs> Another groovy key. <laughs> Alright, sentient game. I don't like you, and you don't like me, but for the love of God, do not give me dragon bones. Okay. Oh, I got the range potion. Nice. Come on. Yes. Whew. Way too close. What do we get? Coins. And a groovy key! Alright, do we get dragon bones? Do we get dragon bones? I reckon. Super restores and brews. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> Range potions. Oh, Ranars. Just snuck our way into 56 herb lore, apparently. Dead. Cudgel. That's not a cudgel. It's a new PB, though. And another grubby key. Alright, what do we get from grubby chest? What are our predictions, guys? Super restores. I'm going with super restores. Yeah, I caught it. Woo! Do you know what that means? Prep potions! <laughs> so, we're currently on our last day of membership, and this time I'm not gonna forget. So, we've got our free bonds here. Let's go and slap ourselves on another 45 days onto the account. And I got it into my pen. And there we go. More membership obtained. Just snuck in 81 cooking while preparing ourselves some sharks for Seracnus. That's an entire cooking level, just from cooking these sharks. Another kill. Mithril. <gasps> Groovy key! So, for a while after this, not much interesting happened. I got a few other grubby keys, but I didn't actually record them on video. Uh, I guess I just thought it was going to be quite boring content. However, after a while of doing Seracnus and restocking, on my way back to Seracnus, I saw something quite interesting. Look at this absolute champion. He's going to be here for a week, but it's respectable. So, after leaving this absolute champion to his own devices, we went back and killed Seracnus again and again and again, just like we have been doing for the past few days. Unfortunately, during this time, we didn't really get any notable drops or anything really to put in this video. However, after kill number 226, we did manage to get this. Just doing some Seracnus killing, and uh, we got ourselves a genie lamp. And if I shove this onto Slayer, we once again get ourselves a Slayer level at 29. Which means we need one more Slayer level and I can finally do the Achievement Diary and shove the XP on it, which I've been wanting to do for ages now. With a new Slayer level out of the way, we went back and did a few more kills. And on kill number 230, we encountered this weird experience. Another kill down. Uh... Well, what? Um... Okay, I guess I'll just not have a drop. Thanks, Seracnus. Following Seracnus's greed in not giving us a single drop from that time we killed her, we carried on, and nine kills later, we managed to encounter ourselves something that was kind of depressing. There we go. Easy kill. Oh my god, we just got a second demerd. Well, that happened. Um, that is... That's second dragon med. We don't need to. Um, no, I don't, I don't really know how I feel about this. It's not... It's not the end of the world. Um... I'm not even sure what the drop rate is on it, but I think it's about half of what the cudgel is. So realistically, getting two before getting the cudgel isn't too bad. If I get another one, then I'd be really disappointed, but just having a second one now doesn't really faze me too much. I really wish I got the cudgel though. I was, when I saw the floor, I was kind of just hoping it was the cudgel. Unfortunate, but that is another Dragon Med. Probably just going to elk it, get some more coins I don't even know how much elk's for. 
but we shall find out actually let's just quickly do this we'll do examine coins we will out this goodbye second dragon net and that gave us i don't know about the commas my brain just kind of hurts it's like 60k or something i don't know anyway let's carry on with Arachnus and uh, try and work towards the cudgel so another dragon med helm drop not useful for the account still collecting up supplies for the future though which is always useful then again as i said the dragon med isn't incredibly rare so it's not something that could frustrate me hugely however talking of rare what was the kill? It would have been really good. I just got free torstal seeds. Interesting. So I'm just gonna do this clip for the video. Uh, this drop is a 1 in 5,900 chance. I mean, I'm not normally one of those people that say, oh, it could have been this, it could have been that, but the drop rate for this is rarer than a dragon warhammer. I don't want torstal seeds. In addition to the previous clip, I've also just checked, and this is officially the rarest drop you can get from Sarachnus, not including the rare drop table. One in 5,900. It is nearly two times as rare as the pet. 254, oh. Okay, it's incredibly optimistic then, and we just got another no drop, okay. I didn't think it'd happen, but I found someone killing Sarachnus with lower stats than even me. Unfortunately for me though, this person actually has the cudgel. Now that is one sneaky undead druid, hiding around the corner, waiting to pounce. Seriously game? Again? No drop. Thanks Arachnus, I guess I'll just not have a drop once again, that's three times now. And here we have another level. 57 Herblore, which I just literally spoke about on the stream and then completely forgot that I was going to get. But there we go, 57 Herblore. So, halfway through a Seracnus kill and I completely forgot this was going to happen. We just got 88 strength while killing Seracnus. Woo! I'm, I swear, I'm going to hit 99 strength before we even get the cudgel. On we go. Okay, so that is going to be kill number 300. Did we get anything? Deference. Okay, so we have now done officially 300 Seratnus kills and still not got the cudgel. I believe the drop rate is 384, so we've not quite hit it just yet. However, I am getting very tired of doing Seratnus. It's, um, like I said, about 30 kills a day. It takes a while to get 300. Well, it's 10 days, I guess. Um, just going to go sell these Deference off in the shop. But I am going to be ending off this video and I will be working on some more Seratnus kills for next week. I think at about 500 kills, if I still don't have the cudgel, I'm going to be taking a short break and maybe doing some smithing. We can... Okay, that's apparently understocked. We can make them into mithril bolts, and it's not going to affect my inventory at all because I'm already carrying mithril bolts anyway. Uh, it just gives me a bit of variation in terms of content and not worrying too much about killing Seratnus. But yeah, anyway, that is going to end off this video. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again next week.